Hey you guys, I wanted to make a video update from my video this morning that was called I Met a Man and this one is I Ditched a Man. A lot of red flags came up about this guy and I'll tell you what they were and how I handled them. But first I want to say I didn't even cry. I just said I had just this heavy feeling in my chest. So he was going to let me, he was going to ask me out to dinner when his schedule came out at work. I didn't know what day that would be, and he didn't tell me what day that would be. So, a little bit of a red flag, but... So, on Sunday, I texted him to check in. It had been like three days since I'd heard from him, and I was pretty sure his schedule had come out. I was feeling kind of abandoned. So, that was my signal that something wasn't right. He should have got back to me if he was as interested as he had seemed. So as we're texting Monday, he apologizes. The schedule had come out Saturday, two days before. So here we have our first red flag. He didn't keep his word, and he wasn't that interested. Because a man who keeps his word would contact the woman when his schedule came out, and if he's interested, he would lock her in on his days off. Nonetheless, we went out Monday night. I had a really, really nice time. I did, and... I liked the way he handled everything and talked with the waiter and he was just very charming and very sweet and I had a great time. My second red flag came after he dropped me off and he didn't ask me out for another date. I didn't see that one at the time, but I see it now. It's fine for a man to not ask a woman on a second date after the first date. He may just not be that interested. But that's the point. He wasn't that interested. A man really interested in a woman would have locked down another date. When are you free? When can I see you again? My schedule comes out usually on this day and I want to see you again. Blah, 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 blah. Something. There was none of that. In fact, I was the one who said, you know, when next time we get together, we could do this, this, or this. I shouldn't have done that. Because although he wasn't interested enough to ask me out on another date, he did do a lot of texting. He invested a lot of time in texting me Monday night, a little bit of Tuesday, and then a lot on Wednesday while he's at work. And I was like, hmm, he's texting me from work, but he didn't text me all day. I said, don't text me because you aren't you working? Like... Don't text me because you're bored at work. That's not fair to me. Oh, I have a slow day going, but I, um, I like talking to you. If I was bored, I'd be doing something else. I think a little bit of a white lie right there. He was texting me a lot. And then I finally said, hey, when are you going to ask me out again? Soon. I will definitely take you out soon. I like spending time with you. That was my red flag. That guy is off. No, I'm not going to be led on by some guy. Absolutely not. I felt really deflated and crushed, and that's when I had this heavy feeling in my chest, but I can't, I can't let myself be treated that way. And I don't want some guy who's a texter boy. So texter boy is gone because I guess Monday and Tuesday night when we were texting, I asked if we could have a phone call instead. No, Monday night was too late. He was doing laundry. Tuesday, no, I couldn't do. He was doing errands. Um, he just wanted to text. And um, I don't think he's married because I did meet him at work. So I do think he was working tonight. But there's something. He didn't want to talk on the phone. He didn't want to go out. But he liked to text. And so that's fine for him, whatever. It's not what I want. I want, I want to feel loved, desired, and pursued. And what I look for in a man is, I look for him to keep his word, for one. This guy didn't. And I look for a man who wants to see me. He wants to see me and take me out. Not see me to come over for a booty call, but see me to take me out. And I want a man who keeps moving things forward so that there's a plan to see me again and to do something. And finally, I want a man who's interested in me and not just my pussy. Um, of course, he's going to want my pussy too, but I want him 
the dialogue and the questions and the conversation should revolve around getting to know me. Like, what's important to me? You know, how did I feel about being a mother? What did I learn? You know, what do I learn about being an escort? Why is that important to me? Why did I choose this career? Um, you know, what kind of friends do I like? Um, what kind of music do I like? He didn't ask any of that. He was kind of interested in knowing some things about my sexual background, my sexual history. And it made a few things about sex, but not too many on the first date because he was on his best behavior. I don't know if this guy is like a little bit um, clueless because he seems really nice or if he's a little bit manipulative and deviant. I'm not sure. And I don't want to get into mind games. None of that matters. But my experience of it was there was a lot more talk about sex and about getting to know me. Although it wasn't just sex. I never sent him any sexy photos. We did no sexting. I never told him anything I would do to him sexually. I gave him a 10 second kiss. That's it. There's nothing that happened. So I'm really on this track of wanting to build mental and emotional intimacy before physical intimacy. And I'm really committed to that. And I think that um, I did a really good job so far, but in hindsight, I should have cut him off on Sunday when he didn't get back to me about the schedule. I should have taken that red flag as the only red flag I needed. But the reason I didn't, and this is where I made my mistake, ladies, is that I had decided I really liked this guy. And because I had decided I liked him, I was willing to overlook certain things. I was willing to overlook the fact that he didn't keep his word on the schedule, that he used busy as an excuse, um, for example. So it's really important early in dating, ladies, that we date several men at the same time, that we see how they make us feel, and that we are with men who are more interested in us than we are in them. The moment we start to be more interested in the man or pursue the man, we'll let him get away with stuff or not treating us well or treating us like a booty call, let's say, or someone just to text. So, but hey, you know, sometimes we can't help it. You know, we get excited about people. Um, another thing that really helped me, you guys, with this is to just remember to come back to my center. I've been doing a lot of work lately on staying centered and the things I'm working on in my own life that I have stuff going on and that I know how to come back to center, really come back to center and not lose myself in a guy or a fantasy of a guy. So especially early on when we're dating, we get excited about guys. It's really important to not think about him all the time because that's what we as women do. And to know how to come back to some kind of a spiritual center so that we don't lose ourselves in the guy or get thrown off course when things don't work out or he doesn't text back or he says something that's disappointing because I want to tell the guy, fuck you, <laughs> but I can't do that. I told him to F off because it's not emotionally mature to dump my anger or my disappointment on him. He didn't do anything wrong. He was just being who he was. And I have to be able to manage my own emotions. And if I don't like how I'm being treated, I have to graciously be able to say this isn't working for me. I did tell him to F off and I called him a texture boy. And both of those were a little bit immature. But I did. I do think he kind of led me on and maybe he deserved it. And if he's watching this video, you know, hopefully he can learn something from it to not lead other women off and lead other women on. Because I think he did lead me on. Um, by not being honest about his intentions and that he wasn't really that serious. And by texting me instead of asking me out, I think that's really disingenuous, you guys. If someone is interested in you and you take advantage of that by texting them, you, it's not authentic and it's not kind to that person to lead them on. You know, I think it's always good to say, I don't know how I feel about you. I'm not ready for a relationship. I really just prefer to text. I don't intend to meet again because I have other girls on the side or 
I don't know if I really want to see you again or when I might want to see you again. You know, just be honest. I think that's the best thing to do. And thank you for watching my video.